Compressors. Musicians and sound techs everywhere want to use them and have no idea what they really do. In the simplest terms, a compressor is an automatic volume control designed to quickly lower the peaks of a sound. This video will describe the controls on a compressor and how to use them. Here they are. Threshold, Ratio, Attack, Release, and Gain. Let's start with Threshold. It's the first thing. Threshold marks the level, or volume if you like, that the compressor is going to begin doing something. When the sound level goes above the threshold setting, the compressor compresses. When the sound level falls below the threshold setting, the compressor stops compressing. That's pretty simple, right? So, if you set the threshold high enough that the sound level never reaches it, the compressor will never do anything, regardless of the other controls. And if you set it so low that the sound level is always above it, it will never stop compressing. And trust me, you don't want your compressor doing that. The next control is ratio. It's a ratio. It's how much compression you're going to do once the sound exceeds the threshold. Let's say you set the control to 4 to 1. Any peak in a sound that exceeds the threshold will have the parts of the sound that are above the threshold reduced in level by a factor of 4, or divided by 4 if you wish. So a peak that's 4 decibels over the threshold is reduced to 1 decibel over the threshold. 8 decibels over the threshold is reduced to 2 decibels, and so on. You can see, that's a pretty big change. A lot of compressors will have a 1 to 1 ratio. You know what that does? Nothing. 1 decibel over the threshold is reduced to 1 decibel. No matter what any of the other controls are set to, setting ratio to 1 to 1 will keep it from doing anything. So, both the threshold and ratio controls can be set in a way that keeps the compressor from ever doing anything. Or they can be set so the compressor never stops compressing too. All right, when the ratio approaches 10 to 1 or higher, it essentially stops the sound level from ever exceeding the threshold. For example, at 10 to 1, a sound peak that exceeds the threshold by 10 decibels is reduced to 1 decibel above the threshold. 20 decibels above the threshold becomes 2 decibels above the threshold. So essentially, the level never gets much above the threshold. And some compressors even have ratios that are 100 to 1 or infinity to 1. DBX even has a peak stop plus. This stops anything from exceeding whatever the threshold level is. It's really called limiting. A limiter is just a compressor with a really high ratio. Control number three, attack. Attack is a time or speed control. It's how quickly we're going to compress the sound once the level goes above the threshold. It can be marked in time units like milliseconds or with speeds like fast and slow. Setting this control properly requires listening carefully and watching the meters. Control number four is release. Release is also a time or speed control. It's how quickly we're going to stop compressing the sound once the peak falls below the threshold. Setting this control takes careful attention too. Control number five isn't really about compression, but it's handy. Gain. The gain control allows you to raise the overall level of the sound now that you've compressed the peaks down. So by using the gain control, the compressor reduces the dynamic range of the sound. The loud parts are made quieter by compression. Then, the gain control can raise the peaks back to where they were and bring the quieter parts of the sound up in the process. So the sound gets louder, even though the peaks are back to the same level. Gain is how compression makes things louder. If you have a digital mixer with compressors, or even a fancy analog compressor, there may be a sixth control, knee. The knee 
controls how sharply the ratio is engaged as the sound level exceeds the threshold setting. The control usually varies between soft and hard knee. Soft knee settings gradually increase the compression ratio from one to whatever the ratio setting is as the level gets higher and higher above the threshold. It looks like this. Hard knee settings instantly engage the full ratio when the sound level exceeds the threshold setting. There's also a handy meter on most compressors, a gain reduction meter. It shows how much the compressor is reducing the level and how quickly it reacts and stops compressing. It's essential in setting the compressor properly and for keeping the settings right too. Now that you know what all those controls on the compressor do, check out the compression tips and techniques videos to learn how and when to use them. I'm Greg Hill for AV Genius.